from her world one of the announcements of the century. Those flashes you can see tell the world that Britain has tamed the principle of the H-bomb for peaceful use. This is apparatus Zeta, a ring-shaped discharge tube surrounded by a huge electromagnet. The tube works like a neon tube, but infinitely hotter. A powerful current passes through heavy hydrogen atoms, fusing them together, as happens in the H-bomb, but under control, while the electromagnet keeps them away from the tube walls like the stream of electrons in your TV set. Mr. Pease on the left runs the physics side, Mr. Carruthers is the designer. Sir John Cockcroft explains. The possibility we're exploring is the fusion or joining together of atoms of heavy hydrogen to release energy. In the Zeta apparatus, we have produced in deuterium gas temperatures which are about one-third of those at the center of the sun. That is about five million degrees. And we have held these temperatures for a few thousands of a second and have repeated them every 10 seconds for thousands of times. If these developments prove ultimately successful, and it is a long-term project, we should have a quite inexhaustible supply of fuel to provide for man's needs in the future. Tremendous currents of 200,000 amperes and more are needed to operate Zeta for a tiny fraction of a second at a time, but repeated every few seconds. In charge of Zeta's intricate control panel is Mr. Butt, and he has the whole operation under his hands. From the control room, windows show him the apparatus. Liquid nitrogen is used in the process, so cold that it causes water from the atmosphere to condense like fog. It may be many years before this great British achievement reaches the power station stage, but here at Harwell the first steps have been taken, and this handful of British scientists may have given mankind the key to all the power we shall ever need.